Nemhard back to Thomas. Banga City threatening in this highlight. Trying to find the gap. Venables to Royal with a long shot. And Jonathan Royal has absolutely scored a screamer. I, I can't argue with that goal, really. What's going on guys? My name is Adam. I am a Super Swan and welcome to Club One Episode 7 of Campus to Champions. Your eyes do not deceive you. Swansea Uni are top of the Welsh Premier League. We have been playing some absolutely stunning football since you last left us and we are played 7-1-7 seven, seven. and if we win today we will go 8 points clear at the top of the Welsh Premier League. And in the game since you last left us, it's just been a sea of green. We've just been hammering teams. 2-0 win against Aberystwyth Town. We got a 2-0 win over Connors Key. 2-0 win over Bala Town. A 3-2 win against Barry Town, which was a bit touch and go. They did score two late goals, but we did get the win there. A 1-0 win over Kevin Druids. A 2-0 win over Carmarthen Town. We did get knocked out of the Welsh League Cup, but I did play a lot of our rotational players. So I'm not overly fussed about being knocked out. The board are a little bit upset, but I mean, come on. We're top of the Welsh Premier League board. You've got to give me some leeway here. So that is the position we're in. And we're going to go up against Bangor City and Cardiff Met Uni in the league today. And we are eight points clear of the league. That is absolutely insane. And I think the best players have definitely been Cameron Archer, which if I have a look at the league, he is the second top goal scorer with eight goals. I did tell you guys he was going to be a brilliant striker, and he's been buying the goals in for fun in the Welsh Premier League. He is the second top goal scorer, and we are playing some stunning football to get to the top of that league. Transfer window has now closed and we did bring in three more sign-ins in the interim and since the last game. We brought in Tom Price on a free transfer. He's come in from, well, he's not from Swansea, but he was on loan at Aberystwyth Town last year. He is a ball-winning midfielder, which is a position we do use in our control possession tactic. And he's done pretty well since he's been with us. 6.8, but, you know, he's a solid player. He's got 11 tackling, 15 work rate, 16 aggression. He's exactly what we need as a ball-winning midfielder. We've got William Warnock, who's more of a rotational defender. He can play right-back and centre-back. He's only played a couple of games off the bench, so I don't think we'll be seeing much of him. But 2.5-star credibility, 4.5-star potential. And we have got a massive player from our rivals, Cardiff Met Uni, in Bill Lewis. 3-star credibility, 5-star potential. And he does look like to be a very good wing-back and even centre-back at times so we have got some more reinforcements in the defense so we are going up against Bangor City first of all and this is going to be the lineup for that game we've got Adam Parks in goal Webb Erickson Matthews and Alabusu at the back Berry and Price in the middle with Bennett Helm and Dennis on the attacking positions and the main man himself Cameron Archer starts up front and he's got 10 goals in 8 appearances this season. And I'm hoping that uh, he's going to show you all today why he is the second top goal scorer. As you can see, we are going with our control possession tactic, which we have been using since the TNS game. And very clearly, the results are showing it's going very, very well. So we are going to get the Bangor City game underway. And we are going to try and maintain that place at the top of the Welsh Premier League I'm going to give... Uh, I, I fully expect you to win this match and keep our run going. Cameron Berry, he's impressed. We'll tell him we have faith in them to make the difference. And we're going to get our first league game today underway. Bangor City, they are in seventh place in the league. We are top of the league. Can we keep up the good form? 34 minutes, the first highlight of the game. And Bennett gets it in the back of the net. I thought it was a Bristol, I almost said Bristol City. I almost thought it was a Bangor City highlight there. But it was for Swansea Uni. And Jaden Bennett has put us 1-0 up on the left-hand side. I couldn't see who was taking the free kick. I think the microphone was in the way. But Jaden Bennett takes it. Bennett, well, Abelusu takes it. Bennett with a header. And Swansea Uni are 1-0 up. 
Coming up to half time, very quiet first half, only the first highlight being the goal for Swansea Uni, which is absolutely fine by me. I'm going to say they're doing very well. Mm, yeah, I'm going to say keep it up, but they're doing very well. We are away from home, so we don't want to go too harsh with the team talk. But second half, 1-0 up. As we get a free kick from Helm, who crosses it in, misses everybody, but Matthew should pick that up. He's got some players with him, but he does lose the ball. And it is going to be, hopefully, Webb that recycles. Plays it back to Adam Parks at the back. He's going to try and hopefully find a long ball here. One of our favourite techniques is to lump the ball, like a long ball over the top. And Cameron Archer running on with his pace. So it'll be interesting to see if we see that today. As Price loses the ball to Thomas. Nemhard back to Thomas. Banga City threatening in this highlight. Trying to find the gap. Venables to Royal with a long shot. And Jonathan Royal has absolutely scored a screamer. I, I can't argue with that goal, really. You know, what, what can I say against that goal? As Jonathan Royal for Bangor City has possibly scored the goal of the season. First time shot. Top corner. And Bangor City have found an equaliser. Insult 51 minutes in. Free kick for Bangor. And they've definitely been a lot better second half than they have the first. But Adam Park's looking for the right man here. And he throws it out to Dennis. Back to Price. Is it a long ball? This is it. This is what we do. Archer, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. But it is saved. And that is the tactic we play. We keep our playmakers. We lump it over the top. And the pace of Cameron Archer normally is enough to get us a goal. As from the corner, Matthews to find Archer. Plays it back to Bennett. It's a disappointing shot. Still 1-1. 65 minutes. I was just about to make a sub. But I am going to wait for the highlight to play out as Bennett's. I've just seen Cameron Archer's picked up a knock. I hope it's not serious. He is our top goal scorer. Insel plays it out to Katarici. To Royal. And Banga have looked a lot more threatening in this second half. Holmes to Kananichi and Kalarichi scores for Banga. And we've been seven wins out of seven. And of course, I record a game. And we're finding ourselves 2-1 down against Banga City. Royal plays it out to Holmes. He's going to find Katarichi. He's on his own. Takes a shot. Beats Adam Parks at the near post. Should have done a bit better there. And it is 2-1 to Banga. And I am going to make a substitution. Cameron Archer's picked up a knock. Michael Cook can come on for him. Anybody underperforming? Bradley Webb, you're underperforming. But I don't have a left back available. So I think Dasari's going to have to do a job for me at left back. But guys, we need to get back in this game. We're 2-1 down. 85 minutes, we're still 2-1 down. So I think I'm going to go a little bit more direct. We're going to uh, shoot on sight. We're going to basically... Go long ball, route one, distribute quickly, counter-attacking football, push everyone up. And uh, yeah, we're going to go attacking to try and find that equaliser. Dennis is on a 6.5, so I am going to bring Marley Bishop Wisdom on on the right-hand side. Five minutes to go. Can we find an equaliser? 90th minute, six minutes of injury time to go. We're on the hunt for an equaliser as the goal scorer Katarici is on the ball for Bangor City. Plays it into the box. Clears it as far as Safinio. Insults there. And it does look like Bangor City want this more than we do. As we do go into full time. I don't think we're going to find it. And we have suffered our first defeat of the season. Against Bangor City. I'm going to say it's a bit of a. Not happy with the performance out there. Like I say. We win seven games in a row. And then all of a sudden, I come back on camera and we lose. So, you know, it's okay, though. We're still five points clear at the top of the Welsh Premier League. It's not the end of the world. Archer's out for five to eight days. So we are going to miss him for the Cardiff Met Uni game. And we do lose after seven games undefeated in the Welsh Premier League. But as I say, we're still five points clear at the top. So it's not the end of the world. The run was due to end at some point. But what we'll do is we will come back for our rivals, Cardiff Met Uni. We did lose them in the Welsh League Cup after I did put our rotation team out. So I think it's time to get some revenge. 
Only two changes for the Cardiff Met Uni game. We've got Warnock coming in in space of Ericsson at centre-back and Marley Bishop Wisdom comes in for the injured Cameron Archer. So we are going to be without our top goal scorer, but we know Marley Bishop Wisdom can score goals. So hopefully he can be a suitable replacement for our top goal scorer. But we're keeping the same formation. We are at home against Cardiff Met Uni. So hopefully we can get that revenge for losing in the League Cup. So we do need to give a bit of a team talk here. Hopefully there's a... Oh, this is it. This is it. So passionate. We owe Cardiff Met Uni after what happened in our last match. Go out there and get revenge. The team are motivated. And we are going to get our second game underway today. It is Swansea Uni against Cardiff Uni. The South Wales derby in the Welsh Premier League. 13 minutes in and we have our first highlight. It is Matthews on the ball. Lumps it upfield to Bishop Wisdom. Intercepted by McKendry, but we get the ball back. Very scrappy back and forth in the opening 10 minutes. It's a lovely ball to Bishop Wisdom. He's one-on-one, -on -one, but he puts it past the post. Unlucky, but we are having that early highlight. Throw in 31 minutes. Alabisu to Helm. Dennis now, lovely attacking players, keeping the ball. Long ball in the box. Tried to find Bishop Wisdom, but Bennett intercepts. Webb cleared away as far as Wood. And it's all Swansea Uni in these first couple of highlights. And I'm hoping we can just find that opening goal. Dennis with a pace, crosses it for Bennett. Headed off the crossbar. And we are piling on the pressure. Coming up to half time, still nil-nil. It's been all Swansea Uni. Cardiff haven't had a shot on target as of yet. I'm going to say we owe them after what happened last time out. Try and hype up the strikers. We're going to start the second half. I'm going to go attack in. Get creative. Try and find the winning goal. 69 minutes. And it's a throw in to Cardiff Met. As they play it back to Craig. Wood now to Evans. Cardiff starting from the back. It's been all Swansea Uni. But Cardiff have got this early highlight here. 69 minutes in. But they are playing it cool. Just keeping the short pass in. They try lumping it upfield. But it's not going to get past Matthews. As it goes all the way back to Adam Parks. In the Swansea Uni goal. 15 shots. Only two on target though. So it's been a bit of a scrappy game as far as shots go. But it's a long ball upfield to Bennett. Beats his man. He's got some room here to take a shot. But it's not a very good one. Still nil nil. 70 minutes in. And I think I am going to make a substitution here. As uh, unfortunately Bishop Wisdom's not done very well in the place of our striker. So we'll bring Michael Cook on. Bennett is on a 6.4. So we'll bring on Dasari to play on that left-hand side. So double substitution up front. I think I am going to push people a bit more forward to try and find that goal. And we're going to take long kicks to try and sort of speed the football up a bit. So we're going to go more direct, higher tempo, shoot on sight, find that winning goal, boys. Find that winning goal. And just like that, Dasari's picked up an injury. So he's only just come on, and Hammer Dasari has to come off. So we're going to move Ali Busso up to winger. We're going to bring on Bill Lewis, the man we got in from Cardiff Met Uni, as our last substitution. 15 minutes to go. A free kick from Helm into the box for Lewis. He scored the goal! Bill Lewis, the man we got from Cardiff Met Uni, he's just come off the bench and he scored the goal to make it 1-0. Towers above everyone else. And Bill Lewis, the man from Cardiff Met Uni, has just made it 1-0. 10 minutes to go. 87 minutes, 3 minutes to go. Can we get a famous win over Cardiff Met Uni? They play in the box, but we win it back. Price, long ball to Cook, the top goal scorer from last season. Tries to play in the winger, but it is intercepted. Webb now to Alibusu. He's gone from right back to left winger, because, you know, that, that's how we roll. We just switch the flanks whenever we need to. Dennis, it's a long cross. Doesn't get very far. And we've just got to hang on for about five more minutes. And we will get all three points. As Lama on the ball foul for Cardiff Met. Finds Ebby. Ebby, he's got some room. It's a save. And I think we need to maybe dial this back for the last couple of minutes because we are playing very attacking right now. So we are going to dial it back a bit. 
bring our players a bit further back. I'm going to keep everything else the same. I'm not going to uh, touch much else. But we just need to hang on for these three points as we get another highlight with five minutes to go of injury time. Dennis beats his man. He's got the pace. He's worked his way one-on-one -on -one here. Dennis tries to slot it, but it is saved by the goalkeeper. Dennis has got a bit of pace, but he hasn't got much of finishing, I will say. But Helm crosses it in, tries to find Cook, but it's going to be cleared away by Cardiff Met Uni. The highlight carries on. Passion on the ball, but Berry slashes him down. And it's a corner to Cardiff Met, 90th minute. We've had more highlights in the 90th minute than we've had all game. As Helm lumps it upfield, tries to find Cook. But we've got the ball back. Dennis, another long ball. Not sure who he was trying to find there, but it's found the goalkeeper for Fuller. And as I say, I think we've had more highlights in these last five minutes than we've had all game. Long ball to Lamb, but Adam Parks is equal to it. We just need to hang on. If we win this game, we will still be five points clear of TNS at the top of the Welsh Premier. Dennis beats his man for pace again. Tries to shoot. It's a horrendous shot. And we just need to see this through to full time. Another highlight. 93rd minute now. I tell you, we've had more highlights in the last five minutes than we've had all game. Evans to Davis. And the long shot and mild Davis. What a shot. What a shot. I just knew there was going to be a goal. There were too many highlights coming in the last five minutes to not be a goal. And Miles Davis, his first goal of the season. And he, it's, a, it's a stunning goal. We've had two really good goals scored against us in two games. And in the 93rd minute, Cardiff Met have pulled one back. And of course, it's the last highlight of the game because that's how this works. We'll have... They will have 10 highlights until they score. So it is a disappointing 1-1 draw. It was a tough result to take, I do agree. <sighs> I'd say I'm happy with the performance. It was a really good performance, uh, to be fair. So we win seven games in a row. And then we show two games live on camera. And we lose one and draw one. So, you know. It's just the way it goes, isn't it? It's the way it goes. But we do draw. Dasari's out for three to six weeks. He's only a rotation player, so it's not the end of the world. But what that does leave us, we are still top of the league. And we've got to remember, right? We just need to stay up. That's the goal. So as much as I'm disappointed that we have dropped points against Bangor and Cardiff Met Uni, we shouldn't be too disappointed because we're still two points clear of TNS at the top of the league. So nine games in, we're doing fairly well. So I think what we'll do is we will come back next time. We'll come back for maybe Barrytown, Kevin Druids, maybe. Because we know we've got a split coming up here. But I do want to show off two games before we get the split. So I think we'll come back for Barrytown and Kevin Druids. So we'll have another six games off camera. And we'll come back for Barrytown, Kevin Druids. Or I might even push it back. To, I might even come back for the split. I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes. Because I want to try and get through these seasons as quick as we can. So we'll either come back for the split. Or we'll come back a little bit earlier. Depending on how well the results go. So we are still top of the league. A very surprising top of the league, I will say. As we are only sort of destined to stay up. But nine games in. It's all looking pretty good. So we'll come back next time and see if we can carry on that momentum. But leave a like if you enjoy, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2020 content. We will be uploading Campus to Champions every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 6pm GMT. And tune in next time as we get ever closer to the split, which happens after 22 games of the league. Will we be in the top six and get into the championship playoff? Or will we drop off form and go into the relegation playoff? Tune in next time to find out. Thank you very much for watching.